Father. So, Father, I thank you for releasing finances into the hands of the compassionate, finances into the hands of those who are empathetic. Lord God, who would not just take the finances and abuse them or misuse them, Lord, but God, set up those, Father, the, the empathetic, the compassionate, Lord. Release your wealth into their hands, Father, because you know that they will be responsible servants who will distribute to the suffering, who will not withhold from the suffering, but who will be distributors, even as Joseph was a distributor. Father, I pray, God, that that same glory that rested on Joseph, that same glory, Lord, that allowed Joseph to be an answer to a famine in the land, Lord. Right now, there's a famine of compassion. There's a Man. famine of empathy. There's a famine Jesus. of truth. And Father, release your Joseph into the streets. Release yes, your Joseph into the streets. Lord, release those, Father God, who have a heart of compassion, who have a heart that's willing to distribute love and joy and grace and peace where there is turmoil. Father, look on those ministers, Father, that have even deployed themselves, Lord. Some of them have moved from their home states, Father. They moved their entire families. <clears throat> like Jonathan Thomas, I believe that's his name. Father, he moved his entire family to Ferguson yes. so that he could be an apostle of compassion, yes. an apostle of empathy, to what was being what was being set in that city. So Father, I pray for those, Lord, that you're causing to shift geographically, Lord, to respond, to respond to the injustices. Lord God, those ministers, uh, uh, Apostle Brian Williams, <coughs> excuse me, and, and many more like him in North Carolina, Father, who have gone out into the streets to engage the hopeless, to engage the depressed, to engage the oppressed. Father, raise up ministers, Lord, who will take their congregations, that they will stop the programs as usual. Yes, Lord. That they will take the gospel to the streets. Father, deploy your ministers who are not afraid to engage those who are angry and rightfully angry. Father God, let your ministers be released into the streets, into yes, Ferguson, Father. into Charlotte, into Baton Rouge. Deploy your peacekeepers in the name of Jesus. Deploy your peacekeepers, Lord God. Give them a burning desire. Give them their marching orders in the name of Jesus. Give them their marching orders in the name of Jesus. Lord God, shift their schedules. Shift their work schedules, Lord. So that they are deployed at the time that the people are out. Let them be able, God, to stand in your power, to stand in your love, Father, to stand in the gap between destruction and chaos and peace. And, Father, protect them as you deploy them. We know that you will, Father, but we're asking, we're asking specifically, Lord, that those that you deploy out into the streets, Father, that are willing to be peacekeepers, that are unafraid to engage the angry, to engage the depressed, to, be, to engage the oppressed, to engage the gang leaders, to engage the those who would go out to try to start trouble. Father, we're asking for your angelic allies to be with them. That the people that are disillusioned and disenfranchised and rightfully so because of the systemic oppressions that they're facing. Lord God, that they would see your face through the ministers of yes, grace. Yes, you said God. we are ministers of grace. Yes, God. We are ministers of compassion. 
So Lord, as they are deployed, let those who feel hopeless, let them be able to see a tangible evidence that you are on the job, that you are not asleep, that you see them, Father. There are so many people, Lord God, who are asking, where is God? And why is God allowing this to happen? Deploy your ministers so that as the word says, we can give an answer for the hope that lies on the inside yes, of us. Father. Deploy your ministers who can give an answer that why in the midst of turmoil and in the midst of calamity, they still have peace. Deploy your ministers, Father, who have the golden rule and are operating in the golden rule. Deploy your ministers who will not brush aside the bruise and the hurt, who will not disregard the small and the yes, insignificant. Jesus. Deploy your ministers, Father God, who have the anointing to set things right. And deploy them as a voice for the voiceless. Mm. Deploy them as a voice and an advocate against the powers that be. Deploy them, Father, as a voice to begin to speak truth to power in the name of Jesus. Mm. To command those who write the laws and the policies. Those who are stealing from the communities. Those who are misappropriating the funds of the taxpayers, deploy them as truth to power. This is what we ask, Father God. This is what we ask, oh God. You said you're coming to relieve stresses. You said you're coming to relieve suffering. You said you're coming to relieve oppression. You said, Lord God, that you're going to stand on the side of the oppressed. Lord, you said you're going to stand on the side of the afflicted. And the inflicted, and Father, we thank you, Lord, that you're coming to deal with the injustice. You're coming to deal with the despoiled and the plundered. You're coming, oh God, to deal with those who feel trapped. You're coming, Lord God, to deal with those who feel imprisoned, even by their own communities. Mm. You're coming for those, God, who have become a prey. And those who are looking upon them as if there is no one to rescue them. You're coming to say, give them back. Let them go. <laughs> yes, Father. Give them up. Yes. Release your hope. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, oh, blow your shofar over this nation, oh God. Yes, God. Blow over this nation, oh God. Blow over this nation, oh God. Shift this nation, oh God. Crush every evil. Crush every evil. Crush every empire that is not the kingdom. And bring us into alignment. Bring us into alignment with your spirit. Thank you for hearing the cry of the oppressed. Yes, Thank Lord. you for hearing the cry of the prisoner. Yes, Thank Lord. you for hearing the cry of the beaten and the bruised. And thank you, Lord, for hearing the cry of innocent blood murdered in the land of the free. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, we give you glory. Father God, we give you honor. Father God, we give you praise. That you are the avenger. Yes, you are our superman. Yes, you, are you are our incredible holiness. Yes, you are Jesus the Christ. Yes, you, you are the son of the living God. Yes, you are the one who has the power to right every wrong. Yes, every wrong. Yes, every wrong. Yes, every wrong. Yes, no God. other name by which men can be set free. No other name by which men can be saved. No other name by which men can be delivered. No other name by which men can be healed. Oh, no other name by which men can be shaken loose from every oppression. It is the name of Jesus. It is the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. It is the name of the Ancient of Days. It is the name of the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh, Lord. So I thank you today, Lord, 
and we exalt you, and we glorify you, and we praise you, Lord, for true freedom being released under the banner of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.